Hello, we've been working on this SL3000 uh, portable Betamax video recorder and at the end of the last session with it uh, I got it playing but fast forward and rewind weren't working and I was looking in the uh, syscon board to try to find out why the 12 volt line wasn't being activated for the drum motor which is required for fast forward and rewind but I didn't have the schematics and I was stuck well, I now have the schematics for the NTSC version. This is a PAL machine. I'm hoping they're close enough, and I've found something in those schematics. So let's get stuck in. I'll uh, briefly demonstrate the fault again. So, uh, well, it's not been fully reassembled. So play works, but Fast forward and rewind only work for a moment just as that drum's spinning down and then stops because there's no 12 volts to the drum motor electronics. But it turns out that the 12 volt for fast forward and rewind is a different 12 volt than in the play mode, which I could never have known without the schematics. So let's uh, have a look to see if the 12 volt for the fast forward and rewind is being supplied from the syscon board to the servo board. Right, I'm going to strip all the uh, cabinet work off again. So my complaint last time was that this 12 volt line here which drives the drum servo was active in play at 12 volts but not in V1 and fast forward. And it turns out that that is because it's not supposed to be. If you look at the uh, connector wiring it says of that line it's forward 12 volt out for fast forward and rewind 12 volt out you need to go to connector 11 pin 3 if this goes to 12 volts during fast forward and rewind the fault is on this board which I hope it isn't because this board is going to be different between the NTC and PAL machines well they're different anyway but more different if the 12 volt line isn't present, the fault is on this board, and I'm hoping it's that because it might be easier to fix. Right, so here goes fast forward and rewind. I'll try rewind. Nothing, no 12 volt there on pin 3. So the fault is on this board. There's more commonality between the NTSC and PAL machines for this board than there is this one because the NTSC machines have at least two speeds, whereas PAL is always single speed, of course. This board is SY22 and the board we're looking at on the schematic is called SY4. So it's going to be different. Now as I mentioned last time, the reason I think these fast forward and rewind switches, they're, they're separate switches fast forward and rewind, is because it has to do a different uh, auto stop detection. And a lot of what's going on here is concerned with the auto stop. And it may be an auto stop fault. So let's find the schematics for the relevant part of the circuit now. Unfortunately it's become obvious that the NTSC and PAL machines are too different because pin 3 here should be on the NTSC machine this should be fast forward and rewind 12 volts and it's not but pins 3 and 4 are connected together on this one there's a track between those two and they are not on the NTSC machine so that just leaves us not knowing what's going on. And pin 4 of connector 4, this one interestingly, I think it should be the same signal. So it should be 12 volts uh, in fast forward and rewind. And we are getting nothing in play. Plus fast forward and rewind, I'm getting, well not 12, but about 9.5 volts. And when it switches the auto stop, you can hear it click the auto stop, that voltage goes off. So I think that is the fast forward rewind signal, but at 9.5 volts, I don't know if that's the correct voltage or not, or if that's too low, if that's the reason that the system's not working. But the schematics, unfortunately, for the NTSC machine just won't help us. It's just too different. Oh well, we're stuck again until we get the schematics for this the PAL version of the SL3000. But we've made a little bit of progress. Hope you've enjoyed what we've done today. 
Uh, I'll do plenty more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now.